We're heading off to the orthopedic doctor. We're gonna find out if she needs a cast or what the next step is. How's it feel? It feels cool. Cool? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need to be careful, Carly. My little baby. Two windows here, big huge window there. Holy moly, that is huge. All right guys, good morning. So here's Carly. We're heading off to the orthopedic doctor. We're gonna find out if she needs a cast or what the next step is. How's it, how's it been getting around on crutches? Not that hard. No? So I could wobble around if I wanted to, but it hurts my big toe. Yeah. Now yeah. Now. It's not good for your back either. You're supposed to be using your arms to walk oh, on crutches, <laughs> not your back. The only thing that hurts is my knee right now. Which knee? Oh, because from holding your leg up all the time? I have an injury here. <laughs> so she took Wait, a bath this a morning. Cast? Can I put this down on the ground if there's a cast? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask. If I get a boot, you, you know you can take it off and then put it back on. Yeah. So. I'll have to find out. But I washed her hair this morning. She took a bath. We put a plastic bag around her, her yes. foot. And it worked. So we're in the doctor's office now, waiting for the orthopedic doctor to come in. And Carly's watching YouTube. What are you watching? Hey, it's Ray. Is she your favorite YouTuber? I don't know. I have more than one. Who's your favorite? I don't know. Um, yeah, um, like RCL Beauty 101. She has two channels. Um, then I guess that's it. <laughs> Those are your two favorite? Mm-hmm. You had a cast before or no? No. no. Okay. So this is just like cotton padding. And we just kind of roll that on this. this thing. It's going to come down. You'll see when we do it. What it does is it kind of makes like a special border, makes the top of your cast look a little nicer or prettier. And what's the reason like the whole leg has to be cast? So it comes back down. You'll see, but when we do the leg, how we have like a short leg cast, it's because you get some motion, you know, if you From did it like there. this, yeah, these bones would kind of make everything else move a little bit. Okay. So super silly, and we get lots of questions like that too, I feel like, when you hurt your wrist. Yeah, you know, and it has to be a whole hard. arm, yeah. yeah. How does it change color? So this is actually just the under padding, right? So this is so the fiberglass doesn't touch your touch your skin because fiberglass itself when it's up against the skin is kind of really irritating. So this acts as like a barrier. I only have to have this on for four days in school then. Only Maybe. four days in school if you get it off in four weeks? Yeah. yeah, that would not be too bad. But then I think she said you might still have a boot for two weeks after that, depending on how it she looks. She just must be worried about where your location's at. Yeah. But you're in good hands with her. How much does this weigh, probably? Uh, it's fiberglass, which makes it a little bit lighter. Oh, okay. Versus how they used to do it in the past, which was the plastic. Yeah. Fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we'll see in four weeks. We'll okay. Take the cast off. We have extra here in the office. We can get them next time you come and just sort of go from there and decide if we need another cast or we need a boot. Awesome. Okay. Thank so you. Do the to just stay on the crutches. I know. Okay. Good stretch. I can't straighten my leg all the way. How does it feel? It feels cool. Cool? <laughs> yeah. Is it heavy? Well, you're not supposed to. You're kind of supposed to do it like this with your leg up in the air behind you. Yep. Yep, do it like that with your leg up in the air. I get it off my first day of school. Yep, if she heals quickly, she gets it off September 6th, her first day of school. After school. Oh, I can't miss this Here comes Carly coming down the stairs. Is that hard? No, my leg hurts now. Does it? Because I just jumped down the stairs. Oh, your right leg? Mm -hmm. So we're heading to dance just so she can watch them learn. What do you got left? Your jazz dance? Yep. You need a marker. Oh, you want some markers so they can Everyone sign it? Yeah, you need to be careful, Carly. My little baby. What is it with kids breaking bones? I know. Hi guys, so we're out at the property. You see Carly here on her crutches. This is the first time I've been here since Monday, and they've got a lot done, as you can see. So, this is the, here's the driveway here. This is the side door where you're coming from outside. This little room area, like right here, is kind of like a little coat room I call it, mud room, where we'll have benches, built-ins on both sides, so everyone can have their own little bench and cubby. And this is the door right here where you'll come in from the garage, so it's like a little hallway, but this would be the hallway to walk in that part of the house, or there's going to be a pocket door right here, and this whole big room from here to there is my laundry room. Right, so, so coming from this doorway right here walks into our family room. That's going to be a fireplace, so this whole big square's family room. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. Are you just sitting down? All right. Family room, and then... This will be the dinette. This is all gonna be filled with windows, 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 windows for days. Wait, upstairs? <laughs> That's all windows. Even upstairs, now? No, just on the first floor. So Carly's room, this is all the first floor. Carly's room will be the floor above all these windows here. They'll be starting the second floor next week. And then, hold on. And then directly behind the family room, this room right here, this is all the kitchen. I have a question. So like if this is my room, then mm -hmm. that is my walk-in closet. So my room is actually super small. No, your room, this is area right here is huge. All right, so I'm standing on the front porch right now. Here's the front door. It's going to be a big, like, double door. So here's the foyer. There's going to be a staircase right here. This will be a wall. I'll be able to put, like, a decorative table and some cool artwork on the wall. Right here will be double doors to my office. There's going to have this huge, beautiful window looking out the front of the house. That's going to have cathedral ceiling. So this space all doesn't look very big, but it's bigger than my current office according to dimensions. All right, so then when you walk in, there's a lot of these boards that are here just temporarily holding up walls. But this area right here is the dining room, another big window. Ken's filming with the drone right now, so where is it at? I can't see, oh, right there. He'll get some overhead footage for you guys. You go into the master bedroom, and this is really nice size. Two windows here, big huge window there. Holy moly, that is huge. I bet you those windows aren't gonna be cheap. You see how big these windows are? Mm -hmm. I've never seen such big windows before. Even the window in my office, it's like huge. Yeah, are you, are you mad that your office is so small? It's bigger than my current office according to the dimensions, so. I know it looks smaller, but according to the dimensions, it's bigger. Yeah.
right guys, so basically what went on from the very beginning is Carly was at dance practice. They were learning choreography for their upcoming competition routines for the season. Uh, their first competition is until January, so if anything, um, we're glad that this happened early in the season so she's still going to have some time to catch up and hopefully you'll be able to still compete in the you know in the winter next year so what it was is they were doing a routine and um carly and emily both were doing an aerial cartwheel when carly did the aerial she landed say this is like her foot this is her big toe here she landed her foot went like that and she kind of landed like sideways on her foot and it kind of buckled out and then, you know, she came down on her legs or whatever, but her weight kind of came down like on the side of her foot. And um, when she first did it, she knew that it hurt, but it like, she kind of still pushed through it and still kept dancing for like 15, 20 minutes. And then finally she was like, God, my foot really hurts. I need to sit down. So she sat down, the teachers came over and checked her out. Here she had a huge like egg size, swollen bump on the side of her foot that's when they called me I got there as quick as I could by the time I got there some of the swelling had gone down but we still rushed her over to urgent care got the x-ray urgent care physician assistant said that it was definitely fractured she showed me the x-ray I took a picture of it on my phone and all the while the part that I thought was the fracture on her foot I had the wrong spot but more on that in a minute so we set my alarm early, got up, called the doctor. Luckily, they were able to get us in that same day. Praise the Lord. Took her to the orthopedic doctor. She looked at the x-ray. It definitely is fractured. That's when she showed me on the x-ray where it's fractured, which I'll put the little picture up in the corner and I'll explain to you guys. The little, like, crack, it almost looks like a fingernail-like claw, um, is actually her growth plate. The area that was fractured was the area right behind the little claw looking thing and you can see like a little squiggly line so I guess they call it like a clean break or clean fracture the bone didn't move at all it's basically like still connected like the bones broken but it's still in the place where it needs to be so hopefully it will heal quickly it's in a spot that's supposed to heal quickly i know i was reading online that there's different zones of that metatarsal bone in your foot the closer you get to your toes the harder it is for it to heal and it tends to keep re-breaking and the area where she has the fracture heals the quickest or the easiest and hopefully she won't have any problems in the future well um, so anyways, so we're at the doctor's, we get the cast. This is the first time Carly's ever broken a bone. The doctor said she's going to have the cast on for four weeks, which would have been on a Thursday, because that's when we were at the doctor's, but she's not there that day, so we're coming on Tuesday, September 6th, which is her first day of school, so she'll have her cast and her crutches the first day of school. Then uh, we have the appointment afterwards, she'll get the cast off, they'll do an x-ray, and then they'll determine either it needs to be recasted for two weeks, or she could go into a boot for two weeks. And then after that, hopefully, you know, she'll be good to go and can get back at dance. And my guess would be, I, I have to talk to the doctor about this, but my guess would be to maybe for her to keep it wrapped for a little bit while she's dancing, just until she gets all of her strength back, just not even in just her foot, but her leg and stuff so um yeah so that was kind of just i wanted to fill in with you guys share the x-ray let you know exactly what we were told at the doctors and um, like i said i just feel like it could be worse definitely i was worried that oh my gosh what if she needs surgery and that sort of thing i mean that's just not something that you want your kid to ever have to go through or anyone would want to go through so I'm happy about that and uh, so right now oddly enough Carly was playing Minecraft up in our bedroom for a couple hours I gave her lunch and now she's out on her golf cart so there ain't nothing that's gonna keep that girl from sitting from not moving around I mean she does not sit still she's such a busybody so I did tell her when she went outside I mean she doesn't put the foot down on the ground at all she's not allowed to you know no weight bearing on it at all but I did kind of warn her the you know if you're putting your foot down on the ground or you're doing anything you're not supposed to do then you're probably gonna have to get another cast put back on on September 6th so 
fingers crossed she heals quickly we're getting some vitamins and stuff so she can take get some extra calcium in her body and hopefully um, in six weeks she'll be back dancing thanks you guys for all the support all the cute edits and comments and everything you guys have been leaving in the videos and on instagram and all that we really appreciate it and carly's been looking at them too and it really means a lot that we have your support and i know carly really appreciates it too so that's gonna be it for our video today please thumbs it up you guys and the question of the day is going to be how about you guys leave some ideas of some things that Carly can do to keep busy over these next four weeks why she can't go swimming, she can't dance. Um, you guys seen the other day, Megan and Emily bought Carly some coloring books and I figured we could maybe rent some movies this weekend, go pick out some movies that she wants to see. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.